Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers. Related to implementation project in SAP SD sales and distribution interviews. 1. What is SAP SD implementation? Answer. SAP SD implementation refers to the process of setting up and configuring the SAP SD module to meet the specific business requirements of an organization. It involves designing, customizing, and deploying SAP SD functionalities. 2. Explain the phases of an SAP SD implementation project. Answer. SAP SD implementation typically involves phases such as project preparation, business blueprint, realization, final preparation, and go live and in support. Each phase has specific tasks and deliverables. 3. What is the purpose of the project preparation phase in SAP SD implementation? Answer. The project preparation phase involves defining the project scope, objectives, and team structure. It includes activities like project planning, risk assessment, and resource allocation. 4. How is the business blueprint phase conducted in SAP SD implementation? Answer. The business blueprint phase focuses on gathering and documenting business requirements. It includes workshops with key stakeholders to define processes, data flows, and system architecture. 5. What are business process documents BPDS in the context of SAP SD implementation? Answer. Business process documents BPDS document the detailed business processes within SAP SD. They serve as a reference for system configuration and are used to map business requirements to SAP functionality. 6. Explain the role of the realization phase in SAP SD implementation. Answer. The realization phase involves configuring the SAP system based on the business blueprint. It includes activities like customization, data migration, and integration testing. 7. How do you approach master data migration in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Raster data migration involves transferring data from legacy systems to SAP. In SD, raster data includes customer master, aerial master, and pricing data. Tools like LUSM legacy system migration workbench are often used. 8. What is the purpose of integration testing in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Integration testing ensures that different SAP modules, such as SD, MM, and PHY, work seamlessly together. It involves testing end-to-end -end business processes to validate data flow and system interactions. 9. Explain the final preparation phase in SAP SD implementation. Answer. The final preparation phase involves conducting user acceptance testing, UAT, training end users, and preparing for the system queued over. It aims to ensure that the SAP system is ready for production use. 10. How do you handle customization requests during the realization phase? Answer. Customization requests involve changes to the standard SAP configuration. They are typically managed through the SAP Transport Management System TMS to move changes from the development environment to production. 11. What is the significance of SAP Solution Manager in SD implementation projects? Answer. SAP Solution Manager is used for project documentation, managing system landscapes, and supporting key project activities such as testing and monitoring. It provides tools for project management and application lifecycle management. 12. Explain the role of the Go Live and in support phase in SAP SD implementation. Answer. The Go Live and in support phase marks the transition to the live production environment. It involves the actual system queue over, monitoring system performance, and providing post Go Live support to address any issues. 13. How do you handle user training in SAP SD implementation? Answer. User training in SAP SD involves preparing training materials conducting training sessions, and providing hands-on exercises. Training should cover key SD processes such as order to cash and pricing. 14. What are the key challenges faced during SAP SD implementation projects? Answer. Challenges may include resistance to change, 
data quality issues during migration, alignment of business processes with SAP best practices, and managing project timelines and budgets. 15. Explain the role of the data migration team in SAP SD implementation. Answer. The data migration team is responsible for extracting, transforming, and loading ETL data from legacy systems to SAP. They ensure data accuracy, consistency, and completeness. 16. How do you ensure data quality during master data migration in SAP SD? Answer. Data quality is ensured through data cleansing, validation checks, and reconciliation between legacy and SAP systems. A thorough data audit is performed before and after migration. 17. What is the purpose of business process testing in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Business process testing validates that end-to-end -end business processes in SAP SD, such as sales, order processing, delivery, and billing, function correctly. It ensures that business requirements are met. 18. Explain the concept of business process reengineering BPR in SAP SD. Answer. Business process reengineering involves reviewing and redesigning existing business processes to align them with SAP best practices. It aims to optimize and streamline business operations. 19. How do you manage scope changes during SAP SD implementation? Answer. Scope changes are managed through a formal change control process. Impact assessments are conducted to evaluate the effects of changes on project timelines, costs, and resources. 20. What is the role of the SAP project team in SD implementation? Answer. The SAP project team includes key stakeholders, project managers, functional consultants, technical consultants, and end users. They collaborate to ensure the successful implementation of SAP SD. 21. How do you approach business process mapping in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Business process mapping involves visualizing and documenting current and future state business processes. Tools like process flowcharts and swim lane diagrams help illustrate process steps, inputs, and outputs. 22. Explain the importance of change management in SAP SD implementation. Answer. Change management involves preparing and supporting individuals, teams, and the organization for changes introduced by SAP SD. It includes communication plans, training, and addressing resistance. 23. What is the role of key user training in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Key user training targets individuals who will act as super users or trainers within the organization. They receive in-depth training on SAP SD and play a crucial role in supporting end users. 24. How is business process ownership established in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Business process ownership is typically assigned to key stakeholders or Subject matter experts who take responsibility for specific SD processes. They contribute to decisions on process design and configuration. 25. Explain the concept of business blueprints in SAP SD implementation. Answer. The business blueprint is a comprehensive document that outlines the structure of business processes in SAP SD. It includes process diagrams, data flows, and details on how SAP functionality will support business requirements. 26. How do you handle cross-functional integration in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Cross-functional integration involves coordinating activities with other SAP modules like MM and PHY to ensure seamless end-to-end -end business processes. Integration testing is performed to validate these connections. 27. What is the role of a functional consultant in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Functional consultant in SAP SD is responsible for understanding business requirements, configuring the system, conducting workshops, and providing expertise in SD processes and best practices. 28. How do you perform fit gap analysis in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Fit gap analysis involves comparing the standard SAP SD functionality with the organization's business requirements.
The goal is to identify areas where customization or additional configuration is needed. 29. Explain the concept of Blueprint Sign-Off in SAP SD implementation. Answer. Blueprint Sign-Off is a formal approval process where key stakeholders review and approve the business blueprint document. It signifies agreement on how SAP SD will support business processes. 30. What are the key considerations for data archiving in SAP SD implementation? Answer. Data archiving in SAP SD involves removing or archiving obsolete or redundant data to improve system performance. Key considerations include legal requirements, data retention policies, and archiving strategies. These questions and answers provide insights into key aspects of SAP SD implementation projects. Covering project phases, team roles, data migration, testing, and change management. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.